Hi, this is Joan Marie Domino from Zippy's Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls. I have an amazing technique to show you on how to decoupage on wood. It works really well. I fell in love with this technique and I think that you're going to like it too. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need, of course, is something made out of wood. This is a doorknob hanger. I got this from Zippy's Designs. This is fun. This is easy. It's a good place for you to start. Okay. So now we want to get the wood ready. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put on two coats of paint and you're going to let it dry between each coat. The next step is going to be your decoupage glue. You want to put two coats and let that dry. And when you put the glue on, you want to make sure you get all the way to the edges. That's very important for this to work. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pick a napkin that's going to fit. I picked this napkin. It's beautiful. It's beautiful bold flowers it's going to fit on there really nice and remember we don't need the back layers okay we only need this top beautiful printed piece okay how are we going to put this onto the doorknob hanger and i'm going to show you and i'm going to show you like sandwich style so you understand the different layers okay so the first layer i'm using is an ironing pad but i want you to use an ironing board i'm only using this for demonstration purposes the next layer is going to be a piece of baking parchment paper. This withstands a lot of heat. Then we're going to put down our doorknob hanger and we're going to line up this beautiful napkin. Okay. All right, so again, you just wanna line it up so the flowers are on there good, all right, like this. Okay, so now, before I put this other piece of parchment paper down, I don't want this sliding around, so I'm going to use this amazing water brush, and I'm just gonna put little dots of water here and there, just to keep the napkin from sliding around. Right, makes sense? Okay, good. Now we're going to put on the top layer which is parchment paper as well. That's going to protect the napkin and the iron. So this is the iron. I have it set on medium and no steam. Um, water and decoupage does not work. Now I'm going to take the iron and I'm just gonna start to go up and down on the wood, okay? You can see it kind of under there. So what's happening here? Like, why am I doing this? The glue is starting to melt, and when the glue melts, the napkin is adhering to the wood, and it does a beautiful, beautiful job. Now, I make sure that you do all of the edges. That's very important, and remember, this is really hot, so you wanna be very, very careful. Okay, I'm going to check it, make sure the edges are done. Just lift it up, and you look, oh look, I missed a spot, that's okay. Just going to move it up, get the iron back on there, okay. This is really awkward for me to iron like this too. All right, there we go, do it a little bit more, we should be good. And again, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, let's take another look. And oh, I think we got it, there it is. Okay, so while that's cooling, I'm going to show you one that I already did. Um, this was tulips, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, all of the napkin that was hanging off the edge, I used this sand, uh, sand sponge, this is a sand sponge, and I just went like this to remove all of that. This is so beautiful, um, and the way it feels is so nice. And the thing about decoupaging with a napkin, instead of, say, scrapbook paper, Scrapbook paper, although nice, kind of lays on the surface where the napkin, because it's so beautiful and sheer, it just goes right into the wood. Like it becomes part of the wood. It's just so beautiful. Okay, so now let's take a look. It should have cooled by now. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. All right, I'm going to cut off some of this napkin. So now I have a nice piece of napkin there left over that I'm definitely going to save and use that for another project. Okay, now I can go back in with the sand sponge. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you that as you go down like this, and don't do this too hard because this wood is not super strong. 
and I'm going to go all the way around and it's going to look absolutely beautiful just like this tulips did. It's really pretty. It's really a great technique. It works so nice. Okay, so let's go around and see some of the things that I made already. These are all things that are made out of wood. Okay, so this is a little penguin. Very, very cute for Christmas. And these are what they look like when you get them. It's just plain unfinished wood. Okay, here's a couple little ornament shims. You've seen us do them um, in other videos. Here's another beautiful flower one. Here's a cute little bird on a Santa Claus boot. Um, here's a nice cat with a cute little puppy. And now this one is not a Christmas ornament. It's just pretty florals and I put a little calendar pad. So this is a good gift. And this of course is something that can be left out all year long. Um, here's a welcome Santa I did. And I even used some of my little Vippy stamps um, on the bottom of that as well. Okay, now this is one of my favorite ones. Um, this is a napkin I got from Dippy's Designs. It's so cute and it's so beautiful. And what I did is I did the same technique and now I have a little thing, it's a little saying. I did this on my computer, seize the day, and I can add another one of their Vippy's cute little calendars there. Okay, so look, I have a few more I want to show you that I did. They're so pretty. Um, these are the napkins that I used. These are all from Dippy's Designs. Very, very pretty. And now, here are the things I made. So this is, again is the cardinal. That's one of my favorite napkins too. And again, I add that little Vippy's calendar at the bottom. And this is going to be put up all year. And think someone's going to be thinking about you the whole year because they're going to have that calendar pad out. And just because these are doorknob hangers, it doesn't mean you can't hang them on a nail or on a hook and so it's up a little bit higher. Um, here's that trip, uh, trick or treat. Um, napkin that I used and I just sponged in a little bit of more color in there and here's a beautiful bouquet. Um, here's another one I used. I got the little card fell off but it had a little saying for Thanksgiving down here and here this one is like perfect for a kitchen because it has all this coffee stuff on it. So you really can see that there's many different things that you can do and, and definitely again these make really really good gifts. So wasn't that fun? You think you're going to give this a try? I think you should, and I think that you're really going to love it. Okay, so this video is brought to you by Vippies Designs, so please go to their website, www.vippies.com. Check out their ever-growing line of decoupage napkins, rubber stamps, and other fun crafting products. And on behalf of Vippies Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls, this is Joan Marie Domino, and thank you for watching my video.